Hey everyone, in this video I'm just giving a quick update of my fruiting mushroom blocks. Stick around because at the end I'm going to show you a special one that I have growing. I have a reishi mushroom block fruiting that is looking pretty awesome. So let's take a look. I have two here. One, this one over here is a blue oyster mushroom. And this one, can you guess what it is? You think you know what it is, but you don't. I'm going to tell you in a second. Let's look at my blue oyster first. Um, this was a pretty aggressive blue oyster, which is saying something because they're already aggressive. But it colonized the block super quickly. It fruited like this within a couple of days. And so it's um, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, blue oysters, you know, as they get bigger and they spread, they turn into more of a gray color. They were that dark blue as they were smaller. I should have taken the video sooner. But man, these guys fruited so quickly. You can see the block back there. Um, this is a five pound uh, sawdust block. It's just on hardwoods, uh, sawdust pellets with some wheat bran and pretty simple. Now, I am excited about this because it was so aggressive. I have some planters outside in my garden that have milkweed and other flowers and stuff in it. And hay is a, a fertilizer, or sorry, is a, a mulch on the top. So I took some of the spawn and I spread it around underneath the hay just to see what would happen, you know. And well, by George, if, if I, uh, you, you know, I couldn't have guessed it better myself. It is eating up that hay. It's colonizing like crazy. And so I might just have a heck of a lot of oyster mushrooms growing out in my garden this summer. We'll see how it goes. But I'm excited. I love doing outdoor testing like that too. Um, it's always fun to take mushrooms. Another trick is you can take your spent mushroom block. So you, once I have the mushrooms off of this, if I do a second flush, I'm all done with it. Take it out of the bag, break it up, sprinkle that all throughout your garden or spread it in like a, a patch. Mix it up with um, some manure or uh cocoa coir whatever sawdust if you have it um, some mulch mix it up with something that it can expand on give it something it likes if you have it and it should grow and you can have mushrooms grow right outdoors in your your garden i've done that successfully multiple times So that's the blue oyster. Let's look at this other one over here. Now, what did you think it was? I know what you thought it was because it looks just like a lion's mane mushroom. And I thought I even had it mixed up. I'm like, well, maybe I just labeled the bag wrong. Um, but I have lion's mane growing and I also have coral tooth growing. Coral tooth is like a cousin to lion's mane, but it typically grows these long kind of uh, coral looking um, uh, mushrooms that uh, they kind of grow out they're long they're lanky kind of stick like look like long pieces of coral this is more of a brain type of a structure more similar to lion's mane like what you would get but the it's so dense it's so hard like it doesn't move or budge at all like lion's mane is typically a little squishier has the tentacles that come down on it now I thought coral tooth had that as well so I don't know if this means that it's just getting too much oxygen or if it's getting too much CO2. I don't know exactly what is going on or if it's just the genetics, if that's just the way it's going to grow. Because um, it seems to be growing that way all around the bag. Maybe it needs more oxygen. I don't, I don't know. If you guys know, um, I was it was drying out, so I, I put it in here. But let me know if I'm doing something wrong, if there's something I need to do differently. Um, so that is the coral tooth. It's got, like I said, this big brain-like formation growing. Um, it's very dense and growing pretty good, though. I'm going to have a, a coral tooth has a lot of the same properties I was reading as lion's mane in terms of the medicinal properties and helping with things like nerve regeneration, which for me, I'm a brain surgery patient, so that's pretty important for me. I, I always worry that um, they actually sewed a patch into my brain. They didn't take anything out. They put more in, but I always worry that I lost some brain cells. So anything that can help repair the damage that uh, was done to my head and my brain and my neck, I will take it. So I'm trying out some coral tea. So now I'll show you a couple of other blocks. This one is a chestnut mushroom block that uh, I just put the uh, spawn, I did the spawn to, or expanded it. Um, I mixed the spawn with the sawdust just a couple of days ago, but you can see it's colonizing like crazy. Chestnut's pretty aggressive as well. 
I don't have any chestnuts growing yet. I do have one bag in fruiting condition, but I think I introduced them a little too early, so it's still colonizing. But now here is my reishi block, which I've never grown these before, so I'm really excited. If I'm doing something wrong, I need to do something different. Somebody tell me. I just opened the bag on the top. I'm just top fruiting this. I don't know if I was supposed to even open it to introduce oxygen, but I have. It's got these growths uh, grown up, getting bigger, taller every day. They keep stacking. Try not to get those wet obviously but it is drying out because the top is open so what i'm doing i'm spraying and then uh i have a clip i'm just clipping this closed and these guys are growing every single day so i'm hoping they'll keep getting taller and they are turning you can see it over here anyways they're kind of oranging up on the bottom so they're turning that uh reishi color so i think i'm doing it right you guys tell me is there anything different I need to do with my reishi? Any tricks that will help it grow bigger, better, stronger? Am I doing anything wrong that's going to mess it up? I don't know. You guys tell me. My first time doing reishi. First time doing chestnuts, actually. Uh, first time doing coral tooth. I've done oysters before. But anyways, that's what I've got going so far, you guys. If I didn't share it already, a quick tip. If you need a fruiting chamber, uh, an impromptu fruiting chamber if you don't have one and you need something that's going to contain moisture a little bit more uh, without providing too much oxygen. I use my still air box a lot of times and if there's still too much oxygen going in I'll, I'll tape a piece of uh, paper over top the holes and that's worked really well for me. Um, it's small enough you can just miss the inside and for a couple of blocks it works well for a fruiting chamber but I have so many of them that I'm going to be switching over to this grow tent is just a um, a plant grow tent I had on my vegetables I started them in here indoors under a grow light now that those are all outdoors in my garden I have this space so the point won't be to control temperature so much um, it's kind of the right temperature down here I live in a tri-level or bi-level and we're down in the basement floor so it stays cooler but it's more for humidity control uh, I can put a mister right in here a, a, a humidifier blow humidity directly in and have my plants on the or sorry my mushrooms on this rack over here and they'll just be fruiting like this you don't have to do anything with them just let them sit once you get the uh, temperature and the humidity and all of your controls right you can kind of sit them and forget them Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Hey, if you like this video, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more updates of my mushrooms as they're growing and they're fruiting, let me know by giving me a thumbs up or leaving me a comment. It, it really helps me out. If I'm doing anything wrong um, or if I'm doing anything right, if I can change anything or need to do something different to save my mushrooms, tell me. Let me know. Put it in the comments. I try to get back to everybody. Um, I have a pretty busy weekend coming up, but I'll try to get back to everybody right away. So let me know how I'm let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if you need to do anything differently. Let me know if you want to see anything differently. Just leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, share this video with your friends. If you have friends that want to know how to grow mushrooms or just like following along with other people's mushroom grows, uh, please introduce them to the Mycology Society. We'd love to have them following along. Appreciate you guys so much. I hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good weekend. And uh, take care of yourselves. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.